My name is Charlene Santana, and I'm the curator of mammals at the Bird Museum. So the name of my project is Ecomorphology and Resource Partitioning in Diverse Tropical Insect Predators. So we're doing this work uh, in Costa Rica right now. It's a, it's a really interesting place because it's basically a a hubble for uh, bad research. This project is trying to determine how uh, many different species of bats that eat insects can coexist together uh, by partitioning the foods that they eat, so by selecting different insects that they eat in nature. Um, it matters a lot because bats are very important in ecosystems. Uh, I do my work in the tropics, but bats are also very important up here in Washington. All the bats that we have are insect eating bats. So understanding their abilities to eat different kinds of prey allows us to um, understand uh, how they can control those different kinds of insect populations, uh, which in turn could affect uh, human populations by transmitting diseases, uh, etc. Um, so we're doing this in, in several different ways. So we can take um, the anatomy of their skulls and the muscles that close the jaw to determine how hard they can bite. And we actually use uh, museum specimens of the bats then to do all the anatomical studies of the skull and the muscles. So we can make all these predictions from the anatomy of the bats and then we can confirm these predictions by going out to the field and then collecting bats and collecting uh, samples of their poop, the fecal samples from the bats. And specifically we're using um, DNA sequencing of the insect uh, DNA in the fecal samples to look at what uh, all the insects that they're eating. And then we can also measure how hard the bats bite in nature, and that gives us uh, a prediction of what kind of insects they could eat. Mm -hmm. So we have a little gadget that we use for that, a device that we designed to do it. Uh, it has two little plates where the bats uh, bite, and that's connected to uh, an electric sensor that actually is then connected to a little uh, device that tells us how hard the bat uh, bit the sensor. We had to buy all the different parts and then put it together. Uh, we're working with about 19 species of bats and some of them are relatively rare so we have to be out in the field a lot to get good numbers of these species to really get at what, what they're eating and how they're eating all these different kinds of prey. Uh, I think it will take many years uh, to figure this out. Uh,